Hello everyone, I'm Satoshi, the navigator of Tokyo Tokimeki channel. Today, I have an important video for all of you who are interested in working or living in Japan. So, why did I decide to make this video? It's because Japan is a truly safe, comfortable and attractive country to live in. People here are kind, the food is delicious, and with the current weak yen, it's a great opportunity. Sure, the language barrier might seem intimidating, but it's actually not that big of a deal. Although many Japanese are not fluent in English and may not speak to foreigners proactively, if you speak slowly and clearly, most Japanese can understand, and even if they don't, they are more than willing to help you using translation apps or other tools. Japan is such a wonderful place, and I want more foreigners to come here, live here, work here, and enjoy what this country has to offer. That's why I've made this video to provide some useful information. Today we're going to dive into the first step, how to get a visa in Japan. Let's get started. First, let's take a closer look at why getting a visa in Japan can be challenging. Complex procedures. Japan offers many types of visas and choosing the right one for you can be quite confusing. There are work visas, student visas, dependent visas, and more. Each type requires different documentation. Many documents. Applying for a visa involves a lot of paperwork and any mistakes can lead to a request for resubmission. It's important to pay attention to every detail. Strict screening. For work visas, your background and the credibility of the company hiring you are thoroughly checked. This ensures that Japan remains a safe and stable country. These factors make the visa application process in Japan feel tough, but don't worry, we'll guide you through the solutions. So how can you make the process of getting a visa smoother? Here are some practical steps you can take. This is where the real action begins. Step one, choose the right visa for you. Research the types. Start by choosing a visa that fits your purpose. A good search term is list of Japanese visa types. This will help you understand the requirements for each type. Step two, gather the necessary documents. Check the document list. Check the latest document requirements on the official websites of embassies or the immigration services agency. Examples, you'll need a passport, photos, employment certificates, financial proof, a certificate of eligibility, and more. Create a checklist to make sure you have everything covered. Step three, consult a professional. Consult immigration specialists or lawyers. It's a good idea to consult immigration specialists or lawyers who are well-versed in visa applications. They can provide the latest information and help you with the paperwork. Free consultation services. Use free consultation services provided by foreigner support centers or local governments. They often offer English support, so feel free to ask for help. Here are some recommended websites and contacts that will help you gather information and make your application smoother. Immigration Services Agency official website. This site provides the latest visa information and downloadable application forms. It's the first place you should check. Japanese embassies and consulates. Check these sites for submission methods and important notes. Foreigner support centers. Immigration consultation. They offer English support and are great for answering any questions you may have. Immigration lawyer search sites. Find reliable immigration lawyers who can support your application process. Next, let's discuss key points to pay attention to and common challenges that foreigners face when applying for a visa. Key points. One, accuracy of documents. Even minor errors or missing information can affect your application, so check everything carefully. Two, meeting deadlines. All documents have validity periods, so ensure they are submitted within the required time frame. Three, company support. For work visas, check if your employer provides visa support. Common challenges, resubmission of incomplete documents. Frequent resubmissions can be avoided by preparing carefully from the start. Extended screening periods. Applications can take longer than expected, causing frustration and sometimes leading to giving up. Lastly, here are some tips and even a few legal tricks to help you succeed in getting your visa. Trick one. Enroll in a Japanese language school. Use a student visa to attend a Japanese language school, then aim to extend or change your visa status. This approach is relatively simple and allows for a longer stay, making it a recommended path. Trick two, use recruitment agencies. Another method is to find a job with a company that provides visa support. 
use a recruitment agency to find companies that offer this service. Trick three, switching from a short-term visa, enter Japan on a short-term visa and legally switch to a work visa afterward. This method has risks, but is possible if done correctly. How was that? Today we've covered everything you need to know to obtain a visa in Japan. I hope this information helps you start your new life in Japan. On Tokyo Tokimeki channel, we continue to provide valuable and fun content for foreigners who love Japan or are thinking of coming here. From culture and business to entertainment and travel tips, we've got you covered. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know what you think or what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.